Good morning, everybody. Um, I've had some questions recently about how I take care of my cast iron pans. I'm, I have morning voice, so I'm being a little bit quiet. Um, and I also have only had a couple drinks of coffee, but let me just share with you guys what I do for my cast iron pans. By the way, I'm Jennifer, this is A Country Life. I had a couple pieces of bacon left over from last night's supper that we didn't need to make. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I have some eggs in here. So when I put these two pieces of bacon in, I also put in a little tiny pad of butter so that I could move the bacon over and still fry up these eggs. Um, and so first off, cooking with cast iron, I would say to use like some, some butter, some lard, some Crisco, some oil, some whatever, you know, a little bit fattier cuts of meat, fat, to a cast iron pan is really, really good because it almost seals it. So that's my first tip for cast iron pans is that I typically will cook things with a little bit more grease. Baking grease works great. I always save my baking grease and then I um, cook with that too. So then when it's time to clean it, so first off, and never ever just immerse it into like cold water or even hot water for that matter. Let it cool completely. You can pour out any grease and take like maybe a triple layer of paper towel when it's still hot and kind of wipe out everything that you can possibly wipe out. That works really well and I, I try to remember to do that but I don't always. Uh, but then what happens is I have this for anything that has gotten stuck on. This is something I won at a Pampered Chef party years and years like years ago. I can't believe we still have it. We call this the fingernail and it's just a very hard piece of plastic with a nice edge on it. It just scrapes things really really well. I believe, I, I feel like someone told me recently that you can pick those up at Walmart so I don't know if they're in the hardware department or if they're in the cooking aisle. I really don't know uh, because I protect this one with my life. <laughs> but I just use that to scrape any hard bits. I do use and this is controversial, but I do use a little bit of Dawn dish soap in my cast iron pans as well if I need to scour them up. Or I also have some of those little scrubbies, those homemade scrubbies typically older ladies will make. And they're made out of that tool from the fabric department. That also works really well just for kind of kind of scouring and scraping around and things like that. So that is really what I do. Dry it immediately. You don't want to let cast iron just sit on a counter and dry naturally because um, you know, depending on your humidity and things like that in your home, it, it could rust. Uh, so I do like to dry it um, completely. And then on occasion, I will use like a little bit of Crisco. I don't use baking grease or uh, anything that's meat based for this, but I will use a little bit of Crisco or something just to put a very, very thin layer on the full inside of my pan. I'll rub that all around and then I just keep using a, a, a fresh paper towel and I use that paper towel, wipe it around, wipe it around, throw that one away, get another one. And I basically do that until it looks nice and clean and there isn't you know, any residue on the paper towel. And that's it. Recently, oh, over probably the last, I don't know, four months or something like that, I have been hanging my two cast irons, so my one that goes there and then my great big one, I've been hanging them on the wall and I have been using them a lot more because usually I would keep them in this cabinet down here jammed away in the back and they're heavy and they're hard to get out. So okay, I need to flip my eggs over here because they're getting done and I'll be back. I should share with you why I'm up here so early. It's 6.20 right now um, and I feel like I'm pretty much fully ready to go. I just need to put a little mascara on and stuff. But other, other than that, I'm up and ready. Warren and I have a meeting to go to today. And so, yeah, if you're in like the Toma Warren's area, area hello, that's where, where we will be today. And I have to take the kids, at least Joseph, Peter, and Maria, I have to take them over to Emily's. So I need to drive like a half an hour to her place drive back home because Warren is actually running the sprinklers for frost protection of the cranberry vines. So he can't turn those off quite yet. He just, I mean, he did just run outside and so I think he's getting ready to turn them off. But anyway, we have to wait for it to come up to, you know, kind of a certain temperature, which is around, I think he told me today that he is going to turn them off if it hits around 30. 
and it says 35 up here at the house. It's about a 10 degree difference or so um, from up at the house to down on the Cranberry Marsh. So what was I saying? So I have to drive the kids in half an hour, drive back home a half an hour, and then we have to be to our meeting, which is at nine o'clock, and that's an hour away. So anyway, lots of driving here for early this morning, so that's why I'm up and at it and um, just getting some things ready. So this is really just gonna be for Warren and I, and then he'll have a piece of bacon, I will. And I did have four um, freezer waffles left, so I did, I got those here. I'm going to go wake up the kids because, yeah, we have to leave in 20 minutes. So why is it when the kids don't have to get up, they completely are up at like 5.30 in the morning. But when they do need to get up, I'm in there, come on, wake up, wake up, wake up. You know, you try to be sweet about it and then you're like, all right, enough is enough. It's time to get up. Well, I just saw Warren come back up to the house. He's over loading the wood burner. And I guess it's not warm enough yet to get those sprinklers turned off. So that's what it looks like when I look out like my dining room window. I see the sprinklers running. It does look cool, doesn't it, Maria? Yesterday there was snow. That was not necessary, <laughs> but it's gone already. And since we're playing show and tell, oh, Warren's going by. What? Maybe show he is. Okay, so show and tell. Here are the broccoli and the asters and some peppers. What kind are these? These are bell peppers and more bell peppers. We don't have fabulous take of this tray of bell peppers. Well, I'm not really sure what's going on. We have jalapenos. We had good take there except for this one row. <laughs> and then here are my three different varieties of tomatoes. We just planted those on yeah. Saturday. It's fun. It's been fun, fun, fun. We got more show and tell. Peter got a haircut last night. Yeah. Well, now he slept in it. So let's see. How does it look? Look up at me, bud. Hey, not too shabby for a mom haircut, huh? So he wanted it left longer on top. And then I wanted it nice and short on the sides. Spot where we can check for ticks easily. It's five o'clock now. <laughs> this day just turned out crazy. We did not get back to pick up the kids from Emily's until about 1.15. And then we had to hurry home because Peter, he does like a, um, a reading program on the computer. Today, he actually had like a meeting with um, his reading teacher, which was at two o'clock. So we had to rush back home for that. And then Warren's computer came in the mail. I feel like we did explore this on another video. Yes, I just don't have that video edited yet. I am Warren's tech support. I ended up having to uh, help him out with that. I mean, he... He, he was very, very helpful too, and it's just kind of nice to at least have both of us sitting there. But we spend about two hours between submitting some medical bills <laughs> to Solidarity Health Share, and then that only took a few minutes. But after that, then we had to work on his computer. We spent two hours doing that. I am pooped. I am absolutely pooped. And we were just sitting there the whole time, but I'm freezing. Just freezing, freezing, freezing. It's really cold outside today. Like I said, it's five after five. It's time to make supper. I did thaw some venison steak. I do know we're gonna do that on the grill. So we grilled last night and now we're grilling again tonight, but I don't know what I'm gonna make with it. So I, I'm gonna have to go and make a plan. I bet on my menu, it tells me what I was gonna have with it. I just have not been, I haven't paid attention to the menu plan for a couple days. But I do wanna show you, I wanted to try out Ipsy. I totally, this is all my own money, you know, just like with Kid Pick, I, I, they don't sponsor me or send me free boxes or anything. I have seen Ipsy advertised at Instagram. I like makeup and skincare kind of stuff like that. I mean, probably more makeup than skincare, but uh, anyway, I wanted to try this. So this is what Ipsy calls their glam bag. So when I signed up, it was $12. I was actually kind of thinking it was gonna be a little bigger. So when I first got it, I'm like, eh, it doesn't look like it's gonna be much, but I forget that makeup is expensive and tiny. Cute little makeup pouch. I mean, I can always use these pouches. These come in handy for so many things. Here is what came in the little pouch. So. Force of Nature, this is the April 2021. Ooh, this is kind of nice, I like this a lot. It tells you exactly what it is, what the item is, and then how to apply it, and then if it's a full size or a deluxe sample, and then what it would cost if you wanted to go out and buy the full size version of that. Lip food, and this is quite the scent. Vanilla, lavender with pumpkin seed oil. So that really sounds like something else. And then also in here is this um, eyeshadow. And this says that it is a deluxe sample. This is Beauty Upscale 
sorry, Beauty Upcycle eyeshadow palette in the Warm Lit Nude Mini. Also came the St. Lux highlighter. This is in the color Rose Quartz, and this says that this is a full-size product. It feels very, very silky smooth, and I'm sure that I will use it because I do like highlighter. If you do go onto their website, you actually take like kind of a, a little quiz or a survey and it asks you all types of things about what your favorite types of products are, what your favorite colors are, things like that. So you get things that hopefully you're going to like. Now this is a deluxe sample and this is a uh, Milk Makeup Kush High Volume Mascara Mini. I absolutely love mascara, so I'm excited to try out this product. This last product here is the Bare Minerals Mineralist Lip Gloss Balm in Sincerity is the color. This smells so good. <laughs> and this, they say, is a deluxe sample. That is it. I just wanted to show you that. If you guys have been interested in what is Ipsy and what do you get for it, this is their glam bag and this was $12. You can upgrade. They will send you a ton of emails asking if you want to upgrade at all and I did decide to upgrade and so not only did I get the glam bag but then there's going to be something called a glam something else. I just wanted to show this show you this because I know I always see these different ads come up and I'm like what actually comes in those packages and would it be worth it? And for my first one, I would definitely say that this is worth it. They're all products that I would use. I realized I left you guys hanging <laughs> as far as supper before. Um, as when I got off, you know, like chit chatting on my camera here, Warren was actually already seasoning up the venison and everything. So he ended up grilling venison steak and then uh, opened up a can of pork and beans and a can of black olives. And then I made some instant mashed potatoes and that was it. That was supper. It was super easy and it was good and everybody ate it and that's really all that matters in the end is that everybody eats it. We're just going to spend a little time cleaning up tonight. We have just been busy the last couple of days. I've had two days where I've been gone for a good portion of the whole daytime hours and so things are, I just feel, getting kind of behind. So I think we're going to start up a load of laundry here. Warren actually is going out. It's 620 right now, and he's going out to uh, do some work on, you know, I should go down there and actually show it. That would probably be exciting for you guys if I would actually do that. I know you, there's so many of you love when I show like what's going on on the Cranberry Marsh. So maybe I'll do that. Let me get some things cleaned up and then we'll go down. Instead of telling you what he's doing, I'll just go show you what he's doing. <laughs> All right, well, they, they are back in. I didn't even get down there to um, film. And Warren just said, you're on camera tonight. <laughs> what did I say? I don't know what you said. You told me what you, what you just did. You put well, out two thermometers. Put out two thermometers. We had to wire up the... Uh, the pipe on the triangle oh and I switched over to the second pump by the house. We're going to run that one tonight. So. Okay. Yeah. All right. That was it. I missed it. I was going to come down and get a little footage and kind of show what was going on, but that's okay. So we're just going to round off the night with, there's a lot of loud, a lot, a lot of loud game playing going on in the background, but I was just going to make some quick what are these even called? Just chocolate chip blondies. Super, super fast. I basically have this mem this recipe memorized, which I know I've mentioned to you guys before, that if you want to be fast at whipping up like a quick baked good for your family, have a couple things memorized. This is so easy uh, that it is on page 47 in the cookbook, but here you go. I'll just show it to you if you want to. Take a screenshot real quick. There we go. I'm going to put everything in... I put every ingredient in here at once, except for the chocolate chips. I put it all in here, mix it up, and we're good to go. I totally just lied to you. I actually do not put everything in here. I forgot that since I have to melt the butter first, I always just mix it in a glass bowl. So I melt the butter, and then I put everything into the glass bowl, stir it with a wooden spoon, put it in the pan, and we are good to go. Eighteen minutes in the oven, and they're puffed, slightly cracked, and a, and shiny on top. That is what you're looking for. You do not want to test these with a toothpick because they're going to be gooey. You want to let these cool. Whoops! I should turn off the oven here. But you're just going to want to let these cool, and these are going to be ready for tomorrow. So you guys have a fabulous night. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.